Friday, uh, November 18th, 2016. Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Um, I'm a bit late later uh, today. I haven't made a, a video early in the morning. It's uh, quarter to four uh, p.m. London or quarter to 11 New York time or Eastern Standard Time. So uh, markets uh, fairly mixed. We've got uh, the Dow down 26 points, uh, S&P down, down 4.35 points, but um, you know, Dow still near the all-time high. Uh, the dollar is very strong. Uh, the pound is down all, uh, 0.8 of a percent, down 105 pips. Uh, the euro is down at a 105 handle, so fairly low, down half a percent. And the dollar is above 110 against the yen, uh, up uh, half a percent against the Swiss franc. The dollar has gone back above parity. It's the uh, first time in a few years, so 101.10. So a lot of dollar strength. Um, the dollar index is uh, 101.46. That's a multi-year high as well. The recent highs, uh, key resistance was just above 100, so we're 101.45. Dollar index up half a percent. Uh, what else? Well, gold and silver suffering. On the back of that, uh, gold uh, 12.07 uh, down nine nine dollars. The low is 12.02.75. Silver 16.47 uh, down 20. Am I worried about this? No, I'm not. I'm not worried about having physical gold and silver. I'd rather have that than, you know, paper money in the bank or even cash. Seeing, you know, what's happening, what's what happened in India, what governments can do to cash overnight, what their, you know, banks like Citibank are doing to cash in Australia. So, yeah, I'm not concerned about the, the fiat uh, price of gold, fiat money price of gold. The other thing I like to talk about is the bond market and uh, U.S. treasuries uh, still quite weak. Right now, uh, the 10-year yield is at 232. Uh, so that's, you know, near the highs of the recent highs of uh, this year. And it's up, you know, 1% from the low of around 132, 135 in uh, July. So bond prices continue to drop. Uh, the 30-year bond is uh, yield is 301. So that's what's a bit uh, confusing at the moment. We've got a, you know, uh, U.S. Treasury prices dropping and yields rising, and the dollar is strong. That that kind of doesn't make sense to me. Um, I wouldn't want to buy a 30-year uh, bond right now because I think the prices are going to go lower. So why would why is the dollar so strong? I, I don't know. Uh, but for now it is. So what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin's trading uh, yeah, pretty well, around 750. Uh, let's see here uh, on Coindesk where we are. Yeah, 750, you know, just uh, around that level. So Bitcoin uh, continues to do pretty well. So, yeah, as I, as I said, I'm not concerned about this. Um, one thing, one article I read is that the euro, uh, the last time it went down, like uh, nine straight days which was up to yesterday that was the during the Lehman crisis in 2008 so today we have the 10th ten, uh, straight day of dollar uh, strength and euro weakness uh, and the bank for international settlements which is the the bank bank for the central banks uh, based in Basel Switzerland they've come out and said that the new thing to look at for uh, financial uh, how can I say health of the markets globally is the dollar and they're saying if the dollar continues to strengthen that's a bad sign for uh, financial markets so yeah just thought I'd do a, an update quick update here uh, this afternoon in London and uh, almost midday in, in the States I will probably make another video later on uh, if you enjoy my, uh, this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, share it uh, with friends, colleagues, family, 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. If you'd like to donate as well, there's some links in the description below. I'll talk to you later. Bye.